Here's Edelman broken up, and the pass is... Once he got to high school, he was still four foot ten. You know, I'd go into my dad's room and I'd be crying or something. I'm, you know, real young. You know, when am I gonna grow this, that? All of a sudden, he grew like eight inches, gained fifty pounds. And so when Jules came back uh, his senior year, it was on. The following year, in 2005, Edelman played at nearby San Mateo Junior College. He was dominant, running and passing for 31 total touchdowns, but still continued to be overlooked, attracting serious attention from only one Division I program, Kent State in Ohio. It was definitely a culture shock with how different it was for, you know, I was a California kid, the spiky hair going over to the Midwest. First day on campus, he walked right up to the guy that was the starting quarterback and told him he's getting ready to take his job. And he did. I've never seen one player change the whole culture of a place like he did. Well, our last game, there's about a minute left, and we had about a third and 12. And we ran a zone read option. Julian, I knew he was going to keep the ball. Edelman himself. Edelman turns up field and he is going to be. Wow. He's, he's still going. Look he got it. it, Edelman. And I remember on the headphones telling our coaches, you know, that play epitomizes what this kid's all about. With the 232nd pick, New England has selected Julian Edelman, wide receiver from Kent State. Did it bother you that you weren't invited to the combine? I took it personal. You know, uh, I think any competitor would do that. Bill, I can still remember it, says, uh, no, we don't know what you're going to play, but uh, <laughs> you can play ball. <laughs> man, you're Julian Edelman, man. You're making plays, you're making it happen. It's almost like they're hating on you. You know, Tater's gonna hate, Play's gonna play. I just gotta shake it off. Julian Edelman! Will they catch him? No! Touchdown, New England! 94 yards! How do you not love number 11? Can't stop him! Think it was too much? Always. I always thought it was too much. It was something that always made me want to prove him, you know, wrong. Look at Edelman break two tackles, and Edelman is home for the touchdown. When I look at the New England Patriots, high-powered offense with Darrell Revis, with Browner in the secondary, I have every reason to believe that the New England Patriots can win it, but I'm not going ah! to have the record for <laughs> Got Devlin in the fullback, the fake to Blunt, and Brady flips it to the sky for a first down. Julian Edelman taken out there by Byron Maxwell. Brady protected again, throws, caught on the run by Edelman. He'll take the ball to about the 10 yard line. Julian Edelman. The defense crowding the line. Sherman's going to go to the outside. Aaron Edelman who gets it and then he tripped up after a short game. My dad was a, he was very tough on me. He became a mechanic at 14, 15. He was too small and 
didn't have someone to push him. He lived that life, and he didn't want me to live that life. Third and 14 from the New England 28. Tom has the snap, under pressure. Brady fires down the middle. Catch by Edelman! He takes a hard hit and stays on his feet, but he's colored down inside the 40. Tom looks left, throws for Edelman! Touchdown, Patriots! They're back in the lead in Super Bowl 49! The New England Patriots are the NFL champions. You did it! I love you, man. You did it, bro. I love you. I love you. It's a big day on first take because we are literally going to be the first take on Bill Belichick. Um, when I came in Monday morning, uh, I was shocked to learn of the news reports about the uh, footballs. Uh, I had no knowledge whatsoever of this situation. Is Tom Brady a cheater? <laughs> I don't believe so. I mean, I feel like I've always played within the rules. I would never do anything to break the rules. Um, you know, I believe in fair play, and I uh, always believe in it for as long as I'm playing. How would you describe the culture on the Patriots in terms of playing by the rules? We play by the rules just like everyone else. You know, it's just that we're always winning. That people always try to bring bring something out. Welcome to Foxborough's Gillette Stadium for this AFC Divisional Playoff between the 14 and 2 New England Patriots and the 10 and 7 Houston Texans. In this case, I think there is a tipping point of talent, but they're also facing a good coach who has weapons everywhere you look and a defense that can get after the passer and study the run. The box, has a lot of time. Brady bouncing on his feet, waiting for somebody to get open. Throws with that side. You like their receivers? I love their receivers. I love Edelman. Edelman, this guy's a top 10 receiver. Julian Edelman, over the last several years, has been probably the most productive receiver, arguably the most productive receiver, statistically the most productive receiver in the NFL. Into the end zone, it's picked off. Ah! Julian Edelman, Tom Brady, Foxborough, Enough said. A record for the Patriots quarterback and his head coach. 11 conference championships now for Brady and Bill Belichick. I think this is going to be a very close, lower scoring game that also could be decided by a last second field goal. I know the Patriots are 16 and 3 at home in Foxborough during the playoffs in the Bill Belichick era. But damn it, they lost three times, they can lose a fourth. And I think they do so here. I still think the Antonio Brown situation will have some negative impact on the mindset of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Welcome to Foxborough's Gillette Stadium and the AFC Championship game between the New England Patriots and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Julian Edelman leads the Patriots out of the tunnel Getting ready for the 11th AFC Championship game with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go. We're gonna need plays out of everyone. Make plays on three, one, two, three, make plays. Let's go, boys. He's always been one of the hardest workers, one of the hardest workers I've ever played with. And one of the most determined. Oh, Julian's a good player. I mean, he's a good route runner and he's good after the catch. He's a strong runner after the catch. But I am definitely taking Tom Brady in Foxborough to win the football game. It's really down to Tom Brady throwing to Julian Edelman, the college quarterback, seventh round draft choice, or bust. You have to be a man, no excuses. The world doesn't care. If you want something, you go out and earn it, and you go out and get it. Finding Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. 
works hard, prepares hard. He absolutely is a coach's dream. Great play, boy. Great play. Tom Brady has a chance to go win a Super Bowl with Julian Edelman as his go-to guy, his number one receiver. You believe in that? New England tonight is trying to become a five-time Super Bowl winner. Um, I get Belichick. You get Dan Quinn. I get been here before. You get outlier season. I get the better defense. Uh, and I know Atlanta's offense is really good. New England's is pretty good, too. The way I look at it, two great offenses, two great quarterbacks. Uh, I think there'll be a lot of points scored. I think they should, uh, the Patriots should have been should be favored. I mean, this is the seventh time between Brady and Belichick. That means something. I have told you since we, the inception of this show on September the 6th, Tom Brady on a season-long mission to get even with the Roger Goodell who tried to frame and railroad him during the flake gate. Let's go! Brady to Edelman, moving the chains, controlling the football, which will allow them to win the game. Two weeks of waiting. Super Bowl 51 is underway. Finds Edelman. Get and with that, they play action. Brady, set. Hey, let's go now. We got our feet wet, we're going. Brady. Falcons with a spring to their step. The Patriots, meanwhile, walking back toward the locker room, down 21 3. Do you believe we're going to win? Yeah, I do right. too. Let's, let's just play our best half. I don't want anybody to do anything that you can't do. Don't yep. try to make it all up in one play. Yep. Just play each play by itself, yep. okay? Yep. Let's go, baby. It's going to be a hell of a story. Gotta play harder! Gotta play tougher! Harder, tougher, everything! Everything we got! Let's go, boys! Love you, boys. Out of that halftime, all but dead and done, New England not only mounted a comeback, but played a virtually flawless last 45 minutes. Here's Edelman broken up, and the pass is... Sign yet. Edelman comes down with a football. They're saying it's a catch. Oh, that's a catch. Oh my God, that's incredible. You gotta believe, bro. Let's go. You gotta believe. During halftime in the Patriots locker room, and Bill Belichick looked every player in the eye and said, 21 points is not enough for the Falcons to beat us. You have to be a man. No excuses. The world doesn't care. If you want something, you go out and earn it, and you go out and get it. Patriots win the Super Bowl! Brady has his fifth! What a comeback! I've never seen anything like this. This was the most amazing game I've ever witnessed. And maybe I'm being a little prisoner of the moment, but I don't think so. It's starting to sink in. That was the most improbable comeback in all of sports history. We made a story. When I say at halftime, it's going to be a hell of a story. I love you, bro. Bad catch. Oh, my God. I love you, man. I love you. You have the soul. I love you.